Hola amigos, welcome back to uh, my wonderful journey called life. Today's journey is from Cochin and to all the way to Walpare. It's an hill station. The distance from Cochin, from where I'm standing till Walpare is close to 136 kilometers. So I hope this ride goes good and it's damn sunny and hot. Here I start my journey on the NH 544 that leads to Alua and then a diversion towards the Adrapali waterfalls which is close to a 60 km ride from Kochi. I'm nearing the Adrapali Falls, which is a fall situated 1000 feet above sea level on the Chalakudi River, at the entrance to the Sholayar Ranges of the Western Ghats. Visitors can reach the top of the waterfalls via a paved path that leads through thick bamboo clusters. There's also a steep narrow path that leads to the bottom of the falls. There are over a thousand species of wildlife in this tropical rainforest like the car, the giant squirrel, the sloth bear, wild boar, the Indian leopard, elephants and of course the lion-tailed macaque. This area is the only place in the Western Ghats where four endangered hornbill species are seen. So if you're lucky, you might spot one. Keep your eyes open. Elephants and bisons spill over to the road and route this path. Hence, night driving is prohibited by the forest department. There is absolutely no human settlement between Malkipare and Peringal Kutto Dam. So you need to be prepared to go through almost 60 kilometers of wilderness if you plan to tread this path. So I've stopped by uh, this particular tea stall which is called the Bismi Hotel. That's the only hotel that I could locate in, in between the jungle. I'm having some really fresh made tea. Tastes good. Located about 3,500 feet from the sea level, Valpare stands majestically with green spread mountains and forest all around. Middle of the Anamalai Tiger Reserve, which is situated at an altitude of 1,400 meters in the Western Ghats near Pollachi, which is close to 90 kilometers from Coimbatore in Tamil Nadu. Major portions of the land are owned by private tea companies, yet large forest areas continue to be out of bounds. There are many places of scenic beauty, such as viewpoints, rivers, waterfalls, forests, tea estates, 
dams and reservoirs. Yet, few spots like Grass Hills have restricted entry to those who obtain permission from the Forest Department. As the history of this place goes, way back in 1875, the roads and guest houses were built by soldiers for the visit of the then England's Prince of Wales, Edward VII. Soldiers were posted here and horses and elephants were used for this purpose. However, the visit was eventually cancelled. That was totally unexpected. Didn't expect the bison to be standing on the road. Lucky me, bisons are supposed to be territorial. I've compiled a virtual 360 degree tour of the sleepy little hill station. Click on this link to enjoy a mesmerizing 360 degree experience of Valpare. Remember to like this video if you enjoyed this ride from the forest to the hills. Subscribe to my channel to be a part of my journey. So till next time, Adios amigos!